Who is going to be the Republican nominee in 2024? It seems early to be able to answer that question now, but it's pretty clear how the question would be answered if we were deciding the question today. And, um, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that Trump would be the nominee. Uh, it's quite likely that DeSantis would be his pick. It's not going to be Pence. We can be sure of that for vice president. And, and that seems to me to be a ticket that would make probably a lot of sense. Why? Because Trump is the most uh, popular figure in the Republican Party. DeSantis would be uh, second. And all of this is confirmed in a Harvard-Harris uh, poll just came out, which had Trump at 56 percent, DeSantis at 16, and then everybody else is very low. Pence is at seven, Nikki Haley at four, Rubio at two, Tim Scott at two, Ted Cruz at one, Pompeo at one. So Trump is obviously the dominant figure. I think, you know, that's everyone knows that. And so what makes it strange is there's an article in The Hill. And if you read the article, uh, the title, the headline is this. DeSantis leads 2024 GOP pack. What? This is a flat out misstatement of what the poll shows. In fact, DeSantis is in the low double digits. He's at 16 percent compared to Trump's 56 but of course, as you read the article, you realize that the Hill is trying to play a little bit of a sleight of hand. They, their headline is, if Trump is not the nominee, you can see all these, all these leftists wish that Trump is not the nominee. It's the point of the whole January 6th proceedings. Let's try to make sure Trump is not the nominee. Let's try to prevent him from running again. And that wishful thinking is reflected in this headline. Now, it's true that if Trump is removed from the list and now you do the poll, which is, which the Harvard people did, DeSantis now leads. 36 percent. Pence jumps to 17, Cruz is at 8, uh, Haley and Pompeo are basically between 3 and 5 percent. So DeSantis is a is a popular figure and, and he has shown, I think, in many ways that he's a very effective governor. He's taken a state that was very evenly balanced, uh, in other words, uh, between Republican and Democrat, and tilted it sharply to the right. He has had a consistent set of effective policies, and he has been very uh, savvy in dealing with the media. <coughs> a major problem for Republicans is they tend to um, uh, they tend to run for the hills when the media shows up, ready to you know scorch them. But not DeSantis. He stands up to them, and he doesn't have the the sort of Trumpian uh, tendency to to take on the media, you know, with the fisticuffs and the mud wrestling and blast them by name, you know, sleepy eyes, Chuck Todd and so on. Uh, DeSantis is in a sense more measured, but he's also really effective. And I think people like that about him. Now, DeSantis is himself a Trumpster. And so while he is cultivating his own uh, image and also his own candidacy, I think he knows it would be a fatal mistake to run against Trump. In other words, not only would it not work, but it would probably isolate the two uh, men from each other, make it, <coughs> excuse me, make it more unlikely that Trump would pick DeSantis. So this, this, if I were DeSantis, I wouldn't do any of this. There's no need to. Uh, DeSantis has time on his side, and the smart move for DeSantis is simply to run alongside Trump, with Trump, support Trump, um, you know, hope and expect that Trump might pick him as the number two, which would then give him the inside track, kind of the way the Democrats tried, I think they now regret it, to give Kamala Harris the inside track with Biden to kind of put her next in line. So DeSantis has a bright uh, future, in my view, in the Republican Party. In fact, he's showing all the other guys how it should be done. The other guys are all faltering and fumbling, and they're probably wondering why they're at such low percentages. Why, why am I at two? Why am I at three? Well, the reason you're at two and three is you're acting more like the kind of traditional frozen Republican where you're frightened of stepping forward, you duck issues that you should be dealing with. DeSantis doesn't do that, whether it's COVID, whether it's the elections. Uh, this is a guy who's like, listen, we can defend our position forthrightly because we're smart and more important, we're right.